Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today for another story. I've got Barney here today as well, he's going to listen hopefully. Make sure you do Barney. Today's story is called The Teeny Weeny Tadpole and it's written by Sheridan Kane, she's the author, and Jack Tickle is the illustrator. <clears throat> Did I say what it's called? The Teeny Weeny Tadpole. Well, Barney's gone to sleep now. I hope you're not going to sleep. The teeny weeny tadpole swam in and out of the lily pads. Splish, splash. Hello, my busy little tadpole, said Mother Frog. It's a lovely day for splashing and leaping. Boing, went Mother Frog high into the air. Flippity flop, she landed with a plop. I could do that, said Tadpole, and he tried to leap on the lily pad. All he managed, though, was a splish and a splash. There he is. Mum, why can't I jump like you? asked Tadpole. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said Mother Frog. You will. Just keep splishing and splashing. Tadpole swam off downstream. Take care, Tadpole, called Mother Frog. Look out for the big bad fish. Tadpole wiggled his way to the edge of the stream to splash among the flowers. He looked up and saw a woolly face with a smudgy nose. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Lamb, said the woolly faced creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. You bet, said Lamb. Watch this. Boing, went Lamb high into the air. Springity sprung, he landed with a bong. Oh, said Tadpole, I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said Lamb. Soon you will. A few days later, Tadpole paddled downstream to where the violets tickled his tummy. He looked up and saw a twitchy nose and the largest pair of ears he'd ever seen. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Rabbit, said the twitchy-nosed creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. Can I jump? said Rabbit. Watch this. Do you think Rabbit can jump? I think he might be able to. Boing! Jumpity bump! Boing! Went Rabbit high into the air. Jumpity bump! He landed with a thump. Oh my! Said Tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said Rabbit. Very soon you will. There's Tadpole. He's just there. Mm. Can you see anything that's happening to the Tadpole? Mm. Several days later, Tadpole swam out to where the giant bulrushes wobbled in the wind. He saw a pair of bug eyes and two springy legs. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm Grasshopper, said the bug-eyed creature. Can you jump? asked Tadpole. Of course, said Grasshopper. Watch this. Boing, went Grasshopper high into the air. Hippity hop, he landed with a bop. Wow, said Tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, but you will, Tadpole, said Grasshopper. Very, very soon, you will. 
And there's the tadpole. Does he look any different? The next time Tadpole went exploring, he swam far out to where the stream widened and the water became clear. Tadpole looked down and saw a pair of huge rubbery lips. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? Hello, boomed the rubbery lipped creature. I'm Big Bad Fish and I eat tadpoles. Oh no! The Big Bad Fish chased tadpole up and down and in and out of the weeds, getting closer and closer until... Boing! Tadpole leapt high into the air, higher than lamb, higher than rabbit and higher than grasshopper. He leapt all the way home. Look mum, said Tadpole, I can jump just like you. His mother smiled proudly. Of course you can, my little frog. So he's been growing, hasn't he, over the days? But now he's turned into a frog. And there he is. Thank you for listening to the story today. I'm really enjoying sharing my books with you. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.